No. Hang on just a sec. No, no, you can tell Spielberg that I'm not doing the movie. What? No, you just tell him that I'm the next Nashville star. What? What? No, I don't want to work with Tom Cruise. What? Will Ferrell, maybe, but after I get done with Nashville Star. Let's go. I'm a player with a heart. This is my alarm clock, because I really don't have, I don't ever have to get up too early. Oh, what time is it? Turn the alarm off. She's great. I fall in love with each new day where new girl wants to play. The only trouble is I think she wants This is the guy I'm gonna school in just a minute when we go to play basketball. I just realized that I don't have a basketball. I hope Patrick brings his basketball. Patrick, um, before um, I school you, do, you, do you have anything you want to say to the folks back in Nashville? I just like to say that growing up in Southern California, um, country music is just not that big out here. So Larry's kind of gotten me into the music with the way he plays, and you know he's a talented songwriter and singer. When I play ball, it's very clean kind of ball. I mean, I grew up on the streets, but. You know, it's not really street ball, it's very clean, clean, you know, non-angry, pretty, good, clean, fun. Luckily, Larry is a much better musician than he is basketball player. But uh, I like to pretend, give him a couple charity baskets every now and then. I go to this place and I'm getting a massage and I realized how happy it makes me and how important I think that is in my life. So I called my mom and I borrowed one of her credit cards because they didn't take Costco or Blockbuster cards, I guess. And I'm going and I'm going to get a massage by this masseuse who's supposed to be amazing. Kathy knows her. Right, Kathy? All right, her name's Mia. You can't say that, Mia's a logo. That's crazy logo. So I'm a little nervous because you never know, you know? I mean, I've known people that have gone in to get massages, and I, you know, a good friend of mine, Jeff, uh, Jeff Stewartson, uh, he, yeah, we lost him to a, um, a massage. It was, it was horrible. He went in, and um, we were expecting him out in, in an hour, and uh, he never came out. I'm like, if you could just, it's very emotional time. So here we are um, at the bank. This is one of the things that Larry Bagby likes to do, is deposit money in the bank when he gets checks. We have a whopping $23.62 from CD Baby. These are, uh, this is my online CD sales. Huh? Selling like hotcakes. We gotta get those things out there. We have a $114 check. This one's from Married with Children episode I did about eight years ago. That's not bad for uh, residual income. And then this is uh, a 20th Century Fox. A couple of those for, uh, I did a couple of episodes of Malcolm in the Middle. And uh, those are paying pretty good still because that show's not that old. Um, but I'll be honest with you, I occasionally get a 40 cent check from uh, episodes of uh, Wonder Years because I was a child actor. And they're, gonna, they're not going to ask, where is he now? Very soon, pretty, pretty soon they're going to know exactly where I'm at. And that's on the Nashville Star. And then I like to do this sometimes um, when I get bored. I like to do a beatbox, which is this thing I do. Is... <laughs> How's that? Not bad, eh? It blows my mind. I actually get fan mail. Always a fan of your work from Buffy to Best Buy commercials. Wow. Whether you're sneaking off, bonding with your father-in-law in the kitchen, or playing bass for Johnny Cash, I've seen it all. Hmm. Security. <laughs>
I wonder if she's cute. Maybe I should send her an autograph picture and then ask her to send me an autograph picture back. <laughs> um, anyway, I think it's cool. I'm always flattered when people actually know my work. When someone starts getting as specific as Best Buy commercial or Sarah Lee commercial, that's when it's like, um, Dear Giselle, I don't mean to be rude, but I think you might be stalking me. Please stop stalking me. Signed, Larry Bagby. Return letter. Dear Larry Bagby, I don't know why you think I'm stalking you. Why don't you go over to your window and tell me that to my face? 